Hey guys, so it is the morning of Sunday the 29th of January and today is the last day of my diet. Thank God! <laughs> oh, it's been a very um, rewarding um, and successful and I'm proud of my hard work over the last seven months but it's gotten to the point where uh, my diet needs to end. I've pretty much gotten to the point that I want to get to and it's time to start to grow. So I'm going to film a little physique update for you guys now, what I kind of physically look like. I try not to take myself myself too seriously. I'm not like bikini competitor or anything like that. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But anyway, and then tomorrow morning is when I have my body composition scan. So I'm getting a DEXA scan. Some of you may have seen the video that I uploaded in late November. Uh, you can go and back and check out that one if you want. I'll put all of the details in the description box below of kind of like a halfway point uh, of my calorie deficit. But yeah, I'll be able to get all of my numbers tomorrow and I'll run through all of the numbers and what they mean, how I've progressed over the last seven months with my weight loss and my fat loss and my muscle loss, um, though that's not progression. Uh, and then I'm going to give all the details of where I'm currently at with my calories and macros and where the next step is from here, how I'm going to start progressing towards maintenance and then into a surplus and how I intend on minimizing fat gain um, and trying to utilize uh, the current condition of my body to put on as much muscle as possible. So a little physique update and then we'll get cracking with all of the data tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to the next day. It is Monday the 30th and I had my DEXA scan this morning. Just got home from work. I think I'm wearing the same shirt um, that I wore in the last body composition video. So if you do happen to go back and refer to that one, I'm sorry if I'm wearing the same shirt. I do own other shirts, but clearly I just decided to wear the same one on those two days. Also, I prefer to spend my money on active wear rather than work shirts. I digress. Okay, so I had the decks this morning. Um, I didn't show like what it looked like or anything because I did that in the last video and I just wanted to spend a day kind of like processing the results within my mind and everything. Uh, so before I run through them all, I'm actually just going to show you guys what's kind of happened over the last seven months in terms of how my body weight has tracked um, with it, it decreasing and how my calories have also tracked and generally how um, what my approach to this calorie deficit was and this dieting phase was. Um, now I am going to give specific numbers. I'm going to give specific numbers in terms of my body weight. I'm going to be talking in kilos. I'm sorry. Normally I try to give kilos and pounds, but Americans, you're going to have to deal. If you hear a number in kilos, multiply it by 2.2. That's what it is in pounds. I'm sorry. There's just going to be too many numbers otherwise. Um, I am going to be giving specific numbers to do with my body weight and also my calorie intake. I want to stress that I am just giving these numbers as like a reference point so you can kind of see what they look like in comparison to each other. But they are relevant to me only. I can guarantee if you are watching this video, you have a different height, a different body weight, um, you're a different age, you have different activity levels, you do different workouts, um, you have different genetics. You are different to me. Therefore, your calories will be different to me and my calories will not work for you. So I want you guys just to keep that in mind when I present these results um, that just because I ate a certain way doesn't mean that you should. But I know that you're all educated and smart enough to know that. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put up a graph now of how my body weight and how my calories have tracked over the last seven months. There are a lot of data points. Um, don't freak out. I will run you guys through it all. Okay, so here we go. So 
Red dots are calories, and that is on this axis over here. Blue dots are my weight in kilos, which is on this axis over here. So we start seven months ago at the end of June 2016. So prior to starting this cut, I was in a very, very conservative calorie surplus. I was eating to, uh, on average 2,600 calories a day. And so when I started my cut, I was eating just above an average of 2,000 calories a day. Um, my macros were split um, into two high days and five low days in terms of my carbs. I can put that on the screen, hopefully, we shall see. So this is where I started my cut. I started quite high, guys, over 2,000 calories a day, reducing from 2,600 to 2,000. My body weight started up here above 75 kilos. So I've already done a massive drop in calories, and that has stayed the same over the first like eight weeks because my body weight just responded. It goes down, it goes down, it goes down. So there was no need for me to change my calories in those first few weeks because down, down, down my body weight goes. Then here we start to see it plateau. And only once my weight loss has plateaued have I dropped the calories down further and that's gone down to about 1,900 calories now. And then again, I'm still not really seeing the weight shift. It would kind of was tracking down, but it wasn't moving at the kind of desired rate. And the desired rate for me was uh, probably about 0.3 to 0.4 kilos per week um, that I was looking to lose weight. And it wasn't tracking at that. So we had another decrease. And that's when my body weight really kind of started to respond. The This kind of accumulated. And it, in hindsight, this was probably too fast. These decreases here, I should have waited longer um, and held off. From this point, my body, yep, yeah, off comes the weight. As you can see there, it tracks down. And there was no need for me to change my calories during that time because my weight, again, was tracking down. Um, so at this point, we're at about 15 weeks or so once we're here. Um, and I probably should have had a diet break earlier, but at this point I actually went on a holiday. I went to America and I've got my travel vlogs uh, early in my channel and I wanted to kind of look lean because we're going to be at the beach. Um, so after, just after that holiday, I took a diet break and perhaps that should have been a little bit earlier. Perhaps that should have been more around the kind of eight week mark, but I took it about the 15 week mark. And a diet break is a really good way just to kind of give really give your body a break from dieting, um, reset your hormone levels, uh, give yourself some kind of physical and mental relief. So while I'd been on uh, probably about oh, 1,630 or so a day, I jumped back up to about 1,870 for a couple of weeks just to give my body a break. I actually, <laughs> while I was overseas, I actually lost weight uh, just because I was walking so much. Um, so when I came back, my weight kind of jumped up a little bit again, um, just as I got back into normal activity levels, and then it began to normalize. So after this diet break up here, again, red dots are calories, blue dots are weight. Um, I jumped straight back down to the calories that I was on until about this point here where I felt like I wasn't seeing again the results kind of as quickly as I wanted and I was quite aware at this point that I had a deadline in mind just two months away and I was like because I have a deadline in two months I'm happy to take another calorie decrease um, and that's probably the last one they'll have to do and it was this last jump was the last calorie decrease that I had so had a decrease there and again my weight begins to respond decreasing 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 this one, again, this was actually over Christmas. I lost weight over Christmas, guys, like much faster than usual because, again, I was just out and walking and being active. Um, so once I came back into my normal routine and normal job, my weight kind of came back up again and normalized, um, but then continued to track down. And so this is where I ended. At the end of my diet, just about 1,550 calories a day. And I can put those macros on the screen as well. So while I started just above 2,000, over the course of seven months, I've decreased 470 calories-ish 
Um, but I've done that slowly but surely over the course of seven months. There was no, I didn't start at 2,600 and go like, boom, straight down here because yeah, my body weight would have responded, but then I would have plateaued and I had nowhere else to go. So the whole purpose of me showing this is not the specific numbers, the specific calories or weights, it's to show you that I made small changes over time and I l looked at my body weight week to week and made adjustments accordingly. And then, um, yeah, this is where I ended up here, about 1,550. And these, this is where I'm going, guys. This is where I'm heading. My diet is now over um, and it's time to reverse diet. And I'm jumping, going to do a big jump up to about 1,830 calories on average a day. I'll put those macros on the screen. And from this point, we're just, again, going to monitor, see how my body responds. And it'll be kind of more slower increases up from there. Because, I mean, I've lost a whole heap of fat. I've lost a lot of weight. Um, it's okay to start with an initial large increase, but I don't want to undo all of the hard work that I've put in. Um, so I'm just going to look at slowly increasing, making the most of my body's muscle building potential and trying to minimize fat loss. So there's not, uh, sorry, trying to minimize fat gain. <laughs> um, so there's going to be no crazy like jump back up to 2,600 here. Um, also keeping in mind that I've lost a lot of weight and therefore I don't just burn as many calories just being. So hopefully this was useful in some way, just to kind of see over time how it's all gone. Hopefully there wasn't too many numbers and you didn't all freak out. I'm aware that not many people, that yeah, not many people like numbers as much as I do, but hopefully this was useful in some way. All right, let's get into the data. Let's stop messing around. All right, so here we go. So this is my scan from the 20th of June, 2016, and my cut started a week later. And this is my scan from today. And just one of the things that I just absolutely love, and I went over this in the last video, is just this diagram right here. So um, all of the blue is just lean tissue. So that's both muscle and water and organs and viscera and last night's dinner, <laughs> you name it. Um, and then as the scale kind of increases in warmth, that's more and more fat. So the green and yellow areas are fat. And you can see, yeah, there's, there's my hips seven months ago. There they are. And then this is today. God, what's happened to me? I'm wasting away. No, that's just a joke, guys. I'm pretty bloody proud of how I've done. All right, so I'm not going to focus on like all of these numbers because that is just ridiculous and not all of them are particularly useful. Um, I'm just going to focus on the ones, the main ones that I think, I don't know, are important. So, body weight, 75.2, 63.7. So there we go, I've lost 11.6 kilos. Next one I'm going to look at, I have to go down to the bottom here. We have uh, all of the body composition broken up into different uh, body areas, uh, a number of grams of fat, lean, and bone. Keeping in mind that lean is not just muscle, it is also water and viscera and organs and everything. But in general, hopefully your water stays about the same, but it's the one most likely to fluctuate. Um, and your organs should stay the same. So any changes in lean are mostly attributable to muscle. So let's have a look at fat. This is again back in June. That's in grams. So 20.3 kilos of fat I started with. And then today, 11 kilos. So I've lost 9.3 kilos of fat. Holy God, that's a lot. All right, sorry, next, I'm just like, still just like looking at these numbers is, is crazy to me. All right, next up, lean, back in June, 51.9 kilos. Today, 50, oh, 50, 49.7. So yeah, I've lost 2.2 kilos of what is possibly muscle according to these body composition scans and honestly that is expected 
I'm in a calorie deficit. Uh, obviously you are trying to lose as much fat as possible, but the point is you are not providing your body with enough energy. It is going to take energy from where it can. And often that is not always going to be your fat stores. It's just the same as when you go into a calorie surplus, you're aiming to put down as much muscle as possible, but there is still excess energy. There's going to be some fat gain. So honestly, what is it? Losing 9.3 kilos of fat versus 2.2 kilos of muscle is pretty friggin' good. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, that's that's pretty impressive. Um, <laughs> gee, just to, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot, far out, I'm sorry. Um, but a previous coach of mine, Nick Cheadle, said that if you're losing in like a two to one ratio, so like two kilos of fat, one kilo of muscle, that that's common. So for me to be losing, I don't even know what that ratio is like, I'll put that on the screen later. <laughs> um, for me to be losing in that kind of ratio is awesome. Okay, let's do it. The final number, the final percentage. Um, some of you might remember what I said that I hoped for. Um, so let's show you. Okay. 27%. 27% body fat is what I started at with those hips. 17.3 uh, I'm sorry, I'm actually like... Whoa! I fucking did it! I fucking did it, you guys! Um... Look... I'm not one for like getting like wrapped up in numbers and everything like that and I definitely have listened to my body a lot along this way which is why I decided that this cut was ending now and I refused to diet during my birthday but I honestly didn't think I would get there. I, I said 17% because I thought that it sounded really impressive being able to lose 10% body fat and I thought that 17% for me would put me at a good point to have some leeway for putting on fat or building muscle and I said that number but I didn't know if I could get there. I didn't think I was there when I walked in today. I thought that maybe I was 18 and um, again not wanting to get too wrapped up in the numbers but when you fucking work your ass off, and I've worked my ass off the last seven months, week in, week out, I've hit my macros, I've been compliant. Okay, yeah, I've fucked up a few times, I've had a few binges, okay, I'm human, so sue me. But that consistency over that amount of time has contributed to me getting this result and getting this result that I wanted. And I'm so fucking proud of myself, to be honest. Um, and I think, I think I'm allowed to say that. I don't think, I don't think that's boasting or bragging because, like, I did it, and it's kind of like a bit, of, a bit emotional for me, just like thinking about how far I've come. 18 months ago, 18 months ago, 18 months ago, I had an eating disorder, and. And now I've managed to lose weight again, which is what I so desired back then. Back then I, I, I just, I wanted to be less and I was restricting my intake and then I was binging and I was purging and I just wanted to be less and less. And this time I had a goal in mind and I wanted to lose fat, but then to make my body more efficient so that I'm then able to build muscle. And the fact that I was able to do that without any kind of like major relapse while having a healthy mindset, while having an end date, I just, I've changed a lot in the last 18 months. And the fact that I achieved what I set out to achieve, I'm so happy about. So now my goal is muscle building and I don't have like an end date on that. <laughs> or like an end body fat percentage. I know that I'm going on a holiday in August and I plan on bulking until then. Um, and I'm going through the Greek islands, so I will not have a bikini body during my holidays, but frankly, I don't give a fuck. Right now, my priority is muscle building. My body at 17% body fat, I know that it's not quite happy. I know that I'm deficient in fat and it wants 
fuel. It wants to gain and I'm, boy, am I going to feed it, that's for sure. I'm um, going to be getting in the gym, getting a new program, lifting heavy weights. My knee is feeling a lot better, so I'm really hoping that I'm able to train legs and build up this leg muscle um, that I've lost. Um, so yeah, it's all aboard the games train, baby. I guess I just wanted to say, just to wrap up, that I'm a normal person. I'm in my work clothes. I have my nine to five job. I have my friends on the weekend that I hang out with. I put a lot of time and effort into social media, I gotta say. I wish I was being paid for it, but I'm not. So if there's any companies out there that wanna pay me for it, that'd be great. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to say that this isn't out of reach for just the everyday person. And sometimes I feel like a lot of us follow people on social media, um, follow YouTubers that like, fitness and like health and lifestyle is their job that is their nine to five or like their whole life they are a personal trainer or they are a bikini model or they're some sort of blogger or lifestyle person i don't know but like that is their job and that is what they do and they are paid to do that i am not paid to do this I am paid to work for the government and do something completely separate to any of this. So my point is that I set a goal and I set a time limit and I had a plan and I had a sustainable plan and I put that in place. That is possible for the everyday person and you can do this too, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. There is no excuse if you want something bad enough and I wanted this bad enough and I worked at it. Um, and I got it in the end. If you really want to change your, not just your body, but like your life, like I said, my whole like outlook on life has changed over the last 18 months. I'm like a changed person. People have been commenting that I'm happier and more bubbly and I feel that way. Um, and a lot of this has been brought about by my control over my food and over my exercise and it's just improved my life so much and that is possible for all of you if you really want it so if you want it put a plan in place make it sustainable and get out there and fucking get it guys as much as i would love to end on that note i should say Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting me, for subscribing, for commenting on Snapchat, on Instagram, on my videos here. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, if you have any further questions, if this video raised anything that might be of interest that you would like me to cover in the future, please leave a comment below. I love to hear feedback from you guys on how I can continue to give back to you. So please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.